that, that put spirit in Esau, in the so-called Jews, to have us, you know, in this position, and to also keep us, right? And uh, until the day come when he deliver us with, with a great, magnificent deliverance, yeah? Right? Because uh, we, in, in uh, Romans, the ninth chapter, he, he spoke about that. He hardened the heart of Pharaoh. So it's the most high hardened the heart of these damn devils. They're the new Pharaohs. This is America's Egypt, right? Spiritually called Egypt. So you got you got to have a spiritual a spiritual dude playing the role as pharaohs, right? With the so-called Jews, the so-called white men. Go ahead. I said on that. All right, um, three twenty-three. Did you read the whole thing? Twenty-two and three. Uh, yeah, kind of. I, I, I did. Okay. All right, good, good. All right, so yeah, so now go to uh, all right, the point is made. All right, yeah, go back to uh, you drop us. Back to, back to Hebrews, up to, up to verse 9, and then we go to Ezekiel 36. All right, All right this is uh, Hebrews 4 and uh, 4 and 4. It says, For he spake in a certain place the seventh day on this wise, and the power, and the power did rest the seventh day from all his works. <laughs> And in this place again, and they shall enter into my rest. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein. And they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Right, and that was, that was going back to the wilderness after we had left, after we had left Egypt, right? We did, we, we did pass over by the, uh, the, the angel of death came, destroyed the people that didn't put the blood over their doorposts which represents your forehead spiritually and then a lot of them a lot of a lot of Israel that did escape went into the wilderness but a lot of them weren't right so the only ones who entered from that generation was Caleb and Joshua right and then the children of Israel that were alive during that time that particular point but that whole old school generation, all right, died off, man, because they weren't right. So do that again. Right. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein. So it still remains for us, for the children of Israel, to go into the land, the promised land. The same land that was promised to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. You think the Lord did all that for nothing? He, 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 did, he did these great proclamations and promises to our forefathers and just to leave us in the hand of a damn cracker devil? Come on, man. That ain't the most I don't know that way. Go ahead. And they to whom it was first preached entered, entered not, and because of unbelief. Again. Because of, because of unbelief. All right? Because of unbelief. That's why a lot of dudes that they claim themselves to be great no soul, they claim themselves to be Hebrew Israelites, they don't really believe, man. They're just, you know, going through the motions or whatever because it's a cool thing to do at the time or whatever. So when the time come, man, they're gonna get caught out there. They're gonna get the chip because they never believe, so they're gonna get scared. Oh, man, if I don't get this chip, man, we're not gonna eat, boom. That he's, whoever, whoever do that, they're dead, they're gone. They had no faith in Yahweh Basha and Yahweh Shah. Alright, go ahead. Again, he limited a certain day, saying, in David, today after so long a time, as it is said, today if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. For if Yahweh Shai had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. There, there remaineth therefore... Right, in other words, Yahweh Shai would not have spoken of another day, because they would have already, already been in their rest, right? During the time of Yahweh Shai, he would have came, if that was the time, he would have came and... Gonna have a on you? He would have, he would have immediately came and brought the kingdom dead, but that wasn't the time, all right? We're living in those days now, all right? Go ahead. Nine. Therefore remaineth, excuse me, there remaineth therefore a rest of the people of the Most High. So the people of the Most High are not in their land right now. Point, point blank in a story. Those goddamn cracker devils that are in, there in that land now are just that devils. The children of Esau, prime, namely Amalek. And when Yahweh Shai come, 
Them bastards ain't gonna be in that land, man. Because, first of all, them, uh, all of those damn people are gonna get blown up with thermonuclear bombs being, that are gonna get shot off by Russia and and their compatriots. <coughs> all right? Good. So now let's go to Ezekiel 36. Because you see, what happened was that that was a curse, all right? The Lord said, if you disobey my word and my commandment, that you, that all your enemies were going to come against you. Take your land, you know, and all that. Go ahead. Uh, Ezekiel 36 and 1. Also, thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel, and, and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord power, mm -hmm. because the enemy hath said against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Who's the enemy? The so-called Jews, the Amalek. They the ones that, that, out of all the nations, they were the main ones that wanted our land. Why? Because they were seeking that same blessing that uh, our forefather Jacob supplanted Esau with. They're still spiritually, that that's that's a, uh, a perpetual, because thou hast, thou hast had a perpetual hatred towards thy brother. The scriptures say that. So that's, that is all spiritual, man. You see, this whole damn world is, is based off two main nations, man. Jacob and Esau. Everybody else is, fuck them, right? Therefore prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side. Right, so so called Jews did that. Okay? They 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 they, they, they took over, they conquered us, you know what I'm saying? Oh, along with other nations, put us in slavery, uh um our heritage discontinued from us even knowing who we were, right? Calling ourselves by the other nations, following the other nations' customs. That's the whole deal with the whole Israelite foreigner issue, man. That's that's why the spirit was on beginning with Peter, then it magnified with Paul, then it's really magnifying with us. You got Israelites everywhere, man, from from, the, from from going back to the ancient world to now, through all the throughout all the years of being being uh cornered off into slavery. Through all the kingdoms coming into our land and destroying us, man. Alright? Go ahead. That ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen. Right, the residue of the heathen is the worst of the heathen, which is the so-called Jews. The so-called Jews. Amalek. Alright, go ahead. And ye are taken up in the lips of talkers. Yeah, who, are, who are the talkers? The other nations. Ah, uh -huh, look, see? Look, the so-called Jews, they got, they finally got their land. Judah is destroyed. Like the elder ap apostle Tahar, other apostle Gabar, always bring out. The Romans had an actual coin, and on that coin it said Judah Capta. And it showed, it showed a Roman soldier and uh, uh and and you know, a black woman on her knees, man. Meaning they're conquered, man. Alright? So don't tell me that that's fake. Alright? Because why did they have that coin saying that? Alright? And that was an actual event that took place. You got the Ark of Titus. Because uh, Titus and Vespasian, they conquered the land during, the, uh, uh, during their campaigns around, around 70, from 69 to 70 AD. Destroying all, all, all of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that were in the land. Or well, not all, but the majority. A lot fled into Africa. Alright? And are an infamy of the people. Right, and, 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 and all the nations, all the nations, if, if Jake is not performing for them, entertaining them, they don't want nothing to do with Jake. If Jake is not, if Judah, Benjamin, Levi, or any other uh, uh, Israelite out there, if you ain't playing basketball, or you ain't no fucking stupid ass comedian making them fucking laugh, all right, or, or, or you, if you ain't no fucking faggot, they don't want nothing to do with they hate you. You're an infamy, they want they talk shit about you. You're lit. Their main thing is you're lazy, you're lazy, you're lazy, blah blah blah. You're, but we but we built your fucking land. We built your kingdom. If it wasn't for our people, you won't have none of this shit. We made America rich. As it is written, the Lord told Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, those who bless you shall be blessed. Those that hate you shall be hated or shall be cursed, man. All right, so don't tell me, all right, that we are not the people of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, uh -huh. 
hear the word of the Lord power. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord power to the mountains and to the hills. 